What is an important thing to remember when you're fishing your topwater bait in calm water? Calm water. Think about it for a sec. Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning. It is cold. <laughs> Let me tell you, it is cold. I got to get a coat on pretty quick. I just put a sweatshirt on because it's really 39 degrees. That's not that bad. That's not that bad, but it's the wind's blowing. And I've kind of got down here in the valley, a little pocket comes in on the lake to kind of try to get out of the wind. It's coming right into my face, right into my face. Okay, we're going to be reading from uh, to here on December 5, 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2, 5. My preaching did not offer human wisdom so that your faith would be in God's power and not in human wisdom. Where is your faith? It is in God's power. It is in God's power. We know that God has ultimate wisdom. He spoke the world into existence. All this beautiful stuff we see around us, God simply spoke and it happened. But His power, God's power, God's power is where our faith needs to be. Here's what I wrote about that. We spend our entire lives trying to get smarter about fishing. It's a fact. The more we know about the fish, the water, the weather, and the time of the year, the more likely we'll have success. Y'all remember that? The more we know about the fish, the water, the weather, and the time of the year, the more likely we're going to have success. We rely mostly on our own smarts, but often we need help from others to catch fish. Trying to solve our problems just by being smart, that's very, very foolish. <laughs> the fact is, God generally will let us, you and me, get deeper and deeper and deeper into trouble before we call on Him for help. You know, isn't that the truth? As a redneck would say, ain't that, ain't that the truth? We get deeper and deeper in trouble and then we go, Lord, I need some help. I need some help. God requires that we completely trust in Him. Like my buddy J Jerry Cox liked to say, do you trust me? I mean, do you really, really trust me? God requires that we completely trust in Him. That's His requirement. He allows us to get into dire situations in order to grow our faith. We get into dire situations in order to grow our faith. If all went well every day, <laughs> We wouldn't need to put, have put our faith in much of anything. If everything was hunky-dory, if everything was a bed of roses, a bowl of cherries every single day, we wouldn't have to have faith. We'd just live and just love it. But problems grow faith, and God requires that we have faith in Him. We've got to have faith to get to heaven. We've got to have faith to get through this China virus. We've got to have faith to open a business. We've got to have faith to get married. We've got to have faith to have children. We've got to have faith every single day in our lives. Without faith, we're just mindlessly running around out here, flopping around like a fish out of water. We've got to have faith. We've got to have faith. And problems grow faith. I know y'all didn't want to hear that this morning, guys and girls, because none of us like problems. I hate problems. I hate drama. But faith grows through problems. Okay, here's our tip for this week. It's a good one. The calmer the water, the farther a bass will usually travel to get your topwater bait. The calmer the water, so those perfect dead calm mornings and evenings that we like to get out there and fish, doesn't happen much in the middle of the day, not in Oklahoma or Texas, but those perfect calm mornings that we like to fish, the further a bass will travel to bite our topwater bait. Now, what does that mean to you in fishing? couple of things. One, you want to fish your bait a little bit slower. You know, we fish a topwater bait real, real fast sometimes, and it works good. But you want to fish your bait a little bit slower if you're in dead, dead calm water. When you throw it out there and, <clears throat> and it hits and the ripples start going away from it, let it sit there until all those ripples go away before you make that first movement. The other thing <clears throat> that it means is when you're working that topwater bait and you stop it, let it sit there a little bit longer than you normally would. Topwater fishing, <laughs> unless you're in Florida or Mexico, which we just came back from, probably not too good right now. In fact, some of you'd have to 
skid that bait along the top of the water. You've already got ice. Somebody sent me a comment this week. They had an inch of ice already. And here it is, just the first week in December. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Remember, I love you.